Hey, so today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire TV Stick. I'm going to show you how to load an application onto your Fire Stick so you can access free movies, TV shows, live TV, and more. I'm going to show you step by step, so if you just want to grab your Fire Stick and follow along, I'll go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is just go over to Settings on your Amazon Fire Stick. Once you're over at Settings, just go down to My Fire TV, click on that. Once you're at My Fire TV, go down to Developer Options, click on that. And then go ahead and turn on ADB Debugging, and then turn on Apps from Unknown Sources. Once you do that, you can now press the Home button. Once you press the Home button, just go to Find, then scroll down and go to Search, click on that. And then just type in the app called Downloader. So once you search for Downloader, just click on the Downloader app. Once you click on the Downloader app, all you have to do is click on the Download button. That will then download and install the Downloader application for you on your Amazon Fire Stick. Once that's done installing, just click on Open. Once you click on Open, click Allow and click OK. Go up to the URL area, click into that. Once you click into that, you just want to type in the following URL that you see here on your screen. It's going to be cordcuttersanonymous.com forward slash IPV. So once you type that in, just click on go. Once you click on go, that will then automatically download and install the IPVanish VPN application. Once IPVanish VPN is done downloading, just go ahead and click on install. That will then install IPVanish VPN. You always want to make sure that you install IPVanish VPN before installing the next application, Kodi. And you always want to make sure to protect yourself with a VPN to remain secure when using the Kodi application. And so the next thing that you want to type in is just cordcuttersanonymous.com forward slash Kodi stable. This will always be the most stable version of Kodi, and you will always be able to download the most stable version of Kodi using this URL. I will include a URL below that you see here. It's cordcuttersanonymous.com forward slash Kodi189. So if you want to install Kodi 18.9 for any reason, um, you can use that, but Kodi Stable will install the most stable version of Kodi at all times. And you can see that version of Kodi in the title of this blog. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Go. That will then install the most stable version of Kodi. Once Kodi is done downloading, just go ahead and click on Install. That will then install Kodi for you on your Amazon Fire TV stick. Once that's done installing, you can go ahead and click on Done. Once you click on Done, you can now just click the Home button. That will bring you back to the home screen of your Fire Stick. Now if you just scroll over to Your Apps and Channels, click on that. Then if you scroll down, you'll see the apps that we just installed. So you have IPVanish VPN and Kodi. So what I recommend doing is hovering over IPVanish VPN and click the button with the three lines on your Fire Stick remote all over IPVanish VPN and click Move to Front. And then go ahead and do the same thing for Kodi, move to front. So now when you press the home button of your Fire Stick, you have easy access to Kodi and IPVanish VPN. And before launching Kodi, always make sure to have a VPN running in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and open up IPVanish VPN. And the reason for this is that you always want to make sure that your personal data is protected. IPVanish VPN will make your connection encrypted and make you completely anonymous while using Kodi so that developers of the third-party add-ons in Kodi cannot see what you are doing and also your internet service provider and other prying eyes cannot see what you are doing as well. So it completely protects you and makes you completely anonymous and it encrypts your personal data so they cannot harvest or sell it. So if you want to sign into IPVanish VPN, if you go to this link that you see here on the screen, I'm going to put it below the video as well. But if you go to that link, you will get a discount to IPVanish VPN and you can get your username and your password there. Once you create your username and password, you'll get an activation link set to your email account. You just go ahead and click on that activation link to activate your account. 
and you just enter your username and your password here, and then you just click on login. Once you're logged into IPVanish VPN, what you want to do is go up to the gear icon in the top right hand corner, click on that, then click on start IPVanish, go to startup connection action, make sure that is on connect to fastest server, scroll down, make sure scramble is checked, and then just press the back button once, go over to country, make sure that country is set to United States. Once you do that, you can now go ahead and click on connect, then click OK. That will now connect you to the IPVanish VPN servers. So you can see now that your visible location is now changed and your personal data is now encrypted and protected. So we can now use Kodi safely. So now if you press the home button and just go over to Kodi, click on that. That will then launch Kodi for the first time. Click continue and click allow. Now you'll see that Kodi launches for the first time. Then once Kodi launches, you'll see that this is the main screen of Kodi. Once you're in Kodi, I highly recommend going down to add-ons. Once you're at add-ons, scroll over to install from repository. Once you click on install from repository, scroll down until you see video add-ons. Once you see video add-ons, you can click on that. And then once you click on video add-ons, this is the official video add-on repository for Kodi. So here, all of these add-ons are completely legal and safe to use. They're all vetted by Kodi. So if you scroll down, you can see there are a ton of different video add-ons that you can add on to Kodi. What I highly recommend adding for one of them is Crackle. This will give you access to free movies and TV shows. So if you go ahead and click on that, then click install, that will install Crackle. Another one that I highly recommend, if you scroll down in the Kodi repository, you will then see an add-on called News On. And News On is a add-on that will give you free access to live TV, including live news channels. Um, it'll give you access to local channels as well, um, so that will definitely help you watch any local news. And then another good add-on as well is PBS Kids. If you're looking for access to kids channels, that is a great add-on as well that is also free. And then you can continue scrolling on in the store. Um, another good one is Pluto TV. Plex is a great one as well, but you can scroll around and see the best Kodi add-ons that you want to install. Then if you just press the back button a few times, you'll be back at the home screen of Kodi. And then under add-ons, you'll see all of your video add-ons that you add on here. And if you want to check out a complete list of the best Kodi add-ons, you can always go to the best Kodi add-ons blog post on the CoreCuttersAnonymous.com website. You can see all of the best legal Kodi add-ons that you can install from there. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful and enjoy your Kodi application on your Amazon Fire TV Stick.